Controller noise the controller noise. Hello and welcome to Punches TV. Here on court we have the young J JL Gris all the way from St. Lucie. Coming up against the veteran Fernanda Braffet. Two serving to one. This game is being carried by Morabes and being observed by the young Deontay Chapman, better known as Lager, from out of Chelsea Camp. Oh, a lovely pass a shot by the young man. I tell you, this, this young man, JL Graves, is a very fun boy. Youngster. This young man, JL Graves, is from Everly Secondary School. He was in the finals in the under 16 electing a champion tournament. Under the auspices of the Barbados Royal Tennis Association, he came up against the young Azari Clark. A very competitive and intense match. And Azari Clark from out of the Royal Tennis Elite Academy was able to edge him out. But now he's back. Seven, eight, seven to four. Oh, you can tell that JL really loves road tennis. Enjoy that movement here. He's very talented young man. He's very fast. He's very agile. He has a lot of variation. Nanda Braffitt back in the camera. He's a veteran and so he needs a little time to warm up. To get his body in tune. But this young man he start the game on autopilot. Five thirteen. Fernando Prophet is looking down the barrel of a sow. He was saying previously that he's going to sow this young man. He's going to send him all the way back to St. Lucie. But it don't look so. 5-14. Joel has done his own homework. He said he's going to play him center court back arm. Oh, lovely, lovely playing. He's losing his serve. Mixing up the serve. 15-7. 16 serving to seven. This game is just set for the dime. It eating. Lovely playing. Underhand shot by 
Not in the profit. But he's definitely behind the eight ball. Ball serve away. He's looking on the barrel of a so. Twenty-one ten. First game goes to JL Grace. Love serving love. This is the second game. First game was won by JL Grizz, who's back in the camera. Face to the camera is Fernanda Prophet, dressed in blue, dark blue, light blue, fluorescent blue. Love serving to one. Serve that ball out. JL Grizz. Back of the camera, dressed in white and blue. This young man is very nimble on his feet. A lefty, a student of Eversley Prime, Eversley Secondary School in St. Michael. Two seven to three. This forward arm is brilliant. Stroking the ball brilliantly. He looks at the camera and smiles. Oh my goodness. An ESPN moment. A fan of Punchers Stevie. He's posing for Punchers. He's looking great. Fernanda has no answer. He was bragging all along that he's going to. Treat this schoolboy with disdain. But GL Graves is treating him like a schoolboy. Makes it up to serve. This young man is playing a different tennis to compare to how he, how he played Jawat, um, Zari Clark. He's playing more positive. Maybe it's the environment. 310. I think Fernando is going to get the sow now. He's going to get a little tickle. He's going to get an animal. This young man is moving agile. He's moving like Superman. Despite the hard serve, he's returning. He's qualifying the hard serve. That is, my goodness. If that is a shot. Anton little man Daniel will play. He struck the ball and he's and, and he's stick. Oh my goodness. Is he a ballerina? Or is, is he a tennis player? Oh my goodness, he's hopping. 13-4. That's the score that Fernando does not appreciate. He came here hot and sweaty. And the young man, Riz, is treating him like a schoolboy. Didn't give him a chance to settle. Grizz is mixing up his serves, playing shots, posing. 14-4, young Grizz. He was too upright for that shot. He needs to bend. 14-5. Just away. Six, 14. 
Oh, no, no, it looks like he just want to get off the court. What? What am I seeing? This young man is playing on reflexes. The only saving grace that Fernando has here is he looks like he's going to get out the south. But this young man totally dominate Fernando Brown in all areas. Shot. He really treats Fernando like a schoolboy. He's so embarrassing. 29. So on a Sunday. The young man is deciding whether he's sold him or not. Out of respect. Oh, so my goodness. <laughs> 21 9. <laughs> Joel Graves defeated. Good afternoon and welcome to Punches 2 TV. We have two young men here from all the way in St. Lucie. We have JL Graves and we have Kyrie Annie, both played in the sauna and tournament. I'm going to start with uh, Kyrie Ali. You played the veteran Wayne Lewis. You weren't successful. He, he defeated you uh, two games to one. Um, just tell us, you know, your take on the set you played against um, against Wayne Lewis. This is the first time you're playing in a competition? What score is it, or are you defeated by today? Right, we have the young, I call him flamboyant and flashy, JL Graves. You have a smile that, you know, can light up a Christmas tree. You came up against the veteran Fernanda Profit. Tell us what really went on in that set. What was your game plan? Um, the game plan was to drop Fernanda's center on the What was the, um, the score in the first game? 10. Right. And the second game, what happened? You got an animal, a little tickle. 21 <laughs> 9. Yeah, you played in the um, down in the tournament in um, Heroes, not Heroes Square, Golden Square. You defeated um, Hydra Blunt. Then you went on to the finals in the Paris Paint. Car Park, he came up against Azari Clark. Yeah. Tell us what. Well, tell us what. Tell us something about that map against Azari. Um, it, to me, it was a very exciting match. Um, he came with a game plan, but he locked the back hands. Locked the back hands. Um, Yeah, but I noticed here this morning here in the sauna that you you played a totally different game. You played with a lot of confidence. You dominated Fernando. Fernando was saying all week that he was gonna 
uh, treat you like a schoolboy, but it happened the other way around. <laughs> All right. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for this interview from Panthers TV, and I hope that as you go forward, seeing that you guys come from the north, that you encourage more players, most youngsters like yourself from the north, to get involved in road tennis. Thank you very much.